Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Selenium and yes, we are back on the practice table once again to talk about another fundamental build-up, another fundamental drill towards developing your pool game. Of course, again, this is a part two of my fundamental video series where we are targeting the amateur players or just players who have been playing pool for a while but never actually found the correct route or path towards developing their pool game with a level of precision, accuracy, consistency and control. Of course, this drill was introduced to me a few years back and in the previous upload, which is a link right here in the description and right here in the cards for you, I did a warm up or a part one towards the synchronicity of the five components of the stroke. There are also other videos on my channel previously that I've done where we talked about the stroke. A link also is in the description box down below. Check those videos out. Definitely, this is a video for you if you're watching and you've not really believed that you can actually train to become a very, very consistent pool player. If this is the first time here on my channel, consider smashing that subscribe button below, turning on your post notification bell, dropping a like on the video if the content is of any value to you, and do not forget to share this out to your pool communities. So let's jump right onto the practice table and see what this drill is all about. All right, guys, so what I basically have here is just a lineup of balls. I have some ball markers or reinforcement labels that I use to mark the ball spot on the table and I have them lined up dead straight to the pocket. So what is the aim of this drill? In the previous upload, I spoke about the toe lowry uh, fundamental drill that you use to synchronize the five components of the stroke. That is the bridge, a stable bridge, a proper stance, proper follow through, keeping the head down and ensuring that you address the shot properly. All right? So provided that you have Actually attempted to do the drill or you have actually gone through the drill already now it's time for you to return from just pocketing the object ball to actually pocketing an object ball with the cue ball so let's just get these balls out of the way here and basically what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be synchronizing the five components of the stroke we're gonna be starting off with a couple of stop shots then maybe transition into a few follow and a few draw. So here it's all about the consistency in addressing the shot. Have you ever been told that every shot is straight? Well, it is in fact true. Whether it is straight to the pocket or it's a cut shot, all shots are straight, but it requires a proper execution of the stroke. So here I have the one ball dead straight up line up to the pocket. I'm going to be playing with a stun shot. The distance between the cue ball and the object ball is not very far, so I'm immediately going to stop the object ball right where it is here. So here, I imagine the line going directly to the pocket here, and what I'll do is that I'll take my lead leg, which is my right leg, and I'm going to step onto that shooting line here, and I'm going to step into the line of the shot like so. So all I'm focusing on here is making sure that my bridge is stable, <coughs> making sure that my head is down, my body is not interrupting with the stroke, and all I'm going to do here is just kind of deliver the cue on a straight line and follow through. Nicely done. As you can see there, I didn't hit it with the stun that I wanted to, so it picked up a bit of follow. So now, next thing I'm going to do is just move up a diamond, okay? I'm going to try to do the same procedure here, all right? Remember, this is a fundamental drill. So all you're focusing on is ensuring that the synchronicity and uh, the synchronicity of the stroke is intact before you return to actually playing a game. So here, I found the shooting line. I'm stepping onto the line here and I'm focusing, I'm keeping my head down. I'm 
nicely done. And that's a nice stop shot there. You can see if I were to replace the object ball here, you can see it's dead stop right there. Okay. Now I'm going to just move up another diamond. <coughs> and as I said, you're approaching the middle of the table. So the farther the cue ball is away from the object ball is the more crucial and the more precise the delivery of the stroke has to be. Now, a lot of persons will think that, oh, the object ball is closer to the pocket, so it's easier to shoot. Have you ever had a shot like that and you've missed it so bad and you wonder why? It's just the, the quality of the stroke, the delivery, that's important. And I've been through this drill where I've missed shots so straight and sometimes it is all because of my fundamental. So again, it's the same procedure, it's a straight shot and I have to do the same procedure at all times, no matter what kind of shot I'm playing. Find the line of the shot, step onto that line and, and step into the line of the shot here. Focus and find the contact spot here. Okay, making sure that I deliver my cue straight. Nice, you done. Picked up a bit of follow there. All right, just a little bit, because you can see it's not dead stop, but that's fine. <clears throat> and so you want to go through this. Make this a part of your practice routine. When you come in the mornings, you get on the practice table, the mornings, the afternoon, the evening, whenever time you're allowed to practice, you want to make sure that this is your warm shot. Do about 15 or 30 of these every morning before you get into the primary for aim of your training. You want to make sure that at every day you check to see if there's any flaws in your stroke. All right, so here now we are in the middle of the table. And again, it's the same procedure, focusing on the shot, keeping the head down. And remember, deliver the cue as straight as you can, nice and smooth. Nice. Now, as you can see there, I am actually following through about four inches or so. You'll hear a lot of instructors tell you to follow six inches or so, but what I do is that I ensure that I go through the cue ball. I try not to exaggerate the follow through because as I said, the ball is getting closer to the pocket. So mentally, it would seem like an easier shot. But if there's any twist in the arm, interruption by the body during the delivery of the stroke, it is at that point that you're going to find yourself veering off the shooting line. And if it is that you do not deliver the cue as straight as possible, then you're going to find unwanted side spin being applied to the object ball. And then now you're going to see the shot being missed or it goes into the pocket and bob. Another very important thing that I want to point out and this is going to be good for future applications in the game is a lot of the times when you miss a shot and it bubbles it's sometimes because we're shooting towards let's say the back of the pocket and that's a very very big thing that i learned from a professional player here in jamaica that you have to mentally remember that you have to shoot for the opening so always not shoot to here but shoot towards this facing of the pocket here that should in case there's any slight unwanted side spin you're still gonna have a chance to get into the pocket here all right so here we go another attempt all right step into the line of the shot keep your eyes focused stay down no exaggerated movements on the stroke take as much warm stroke as you can ensure that the delivery has quality And that was nicely done. I did actually miss it a couple of times. But that's the aim here we can see. That was nicely delivered. Okay. And as I said, the object board is getting closer and closer to the pocket. So the shot is getting easier. The distance travel of the object ball is not far. But due to the travel and the distance of the cue ball away from the object ball, then delivery and the quality of the stroke is going to be more
crucial and important in executing the shot to perfection. So here we go. Six is closer to the pocket, but you still have to deliver the cue straight and get a nice, smooth stroke. That was a nice delivery. I went off the shooting line a little bit there, but that was my second attempt on the shot. And say, it's almost next to impossible to miss this shot. And that is if you are above the C plus level. It's a very easy shot, but it's not about the making of the shot that's important here. It's the delivery of the stroke. So here, it's from distance, And there is just an example, I'm actually not going to take that out. There's an example of how straight the shot can be very close to the pocket and still you can miss if the delivery and the quality again of the stroke is not pure. All right, I definitely did not aim to do that, but that was important for you to see. So let's just wrap this video up here. The distance is far, so you've got to deliver as straight as you possibly can. Okay, that definitely did not have enough backspin to last all the way here. I actually did make the shot, but the important thing here, guys, is this is a drill that you need to endure. It can be tough. Sometimes you're gonna learn some stuff while you're doing it. You're gonna miss some straighting shot and you're gonna surprise yourself a lot of the times, all right? All right, so this is just the stop shot version of the video. I'm going to upload a version where we're doing the follow version and the backspin version, the draw shot version of this video as we grow. All right. So without further ado, let's bring this video to the end and I'll see you next time in another tutorial lesson. We're going to be building up your game from the ground up to the top with again, precision, accuracy, consistency and control. Do take care until next time. This is Apex Elenio and control and build your game to the next level. Peace.